Well, here we go again, guys. I've said it before and I will say it again. Get your children out of government education. Your kids, they're just going to come out more confused. They're going to come out dumber than when you actually put them in school. I don't know what has happened, folks, over the past few decades in school. Now, I graduated 28 years ago. And the subject that we're going to be talking about today was never an issue during my generation, my parents' generation, and before that. This was never an issue. The problem is the American left creates problems where they don't exist. And this is another problem here, folks. Over the past five, ten years, man, we have seen this push to actually have biological males and women's uh, restrooms and vice versa. You know, they really want you to believe that it seems like 75 percent of people out there are actually a part of the alphabet community and a large majority are actually trans when we know that is not the case. It's just not the case. But the agenda is being pushed out there. There's a massive, massive push across every aspect of life. We've actually done videos on um, Walt Disney. They're pushing this stuff. And your children's uh, programming of uh, that Baymat show. Remember that? That you had an episode where you actually had a, a parent saying that his trans kid actually uses these certain tampons. They put that in a children's show. They want to confuse your children. And guys, how do that? How do they actually expect kids to actually learn or teach? How should we expect, I should say, teachers to teach that two plus two equals four and not six? When the school districts don't even seem to know who should actually go in which bathroom. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious on that. The activists have infiltrated your schools. Now, we done videos on the on a uh, TikTok teachers out there. Pretty woke. Trying to confuse your children. Remove your children from government education. One of the biggest failures of this country is that we allow the government to educate our children. And in this generation, it has been a complete dumpster fire, a complete failure. Look at this, guys. This is in New Hampshire here. Now, New Hampshire actually has the rules on the book that you can actually choose which bathroom you want to go into based on your gender identity. Yeah. This is insane, but however, they actually want to uh, change the rules. I guess somebody has some common sense. No, we're going to get rid of that. You should be using the restroom based on your biological sets. This was never an issue when I was a kid. It was pretty clear. You walk up to the restroom. If it says boys, you go into it. If it said girls, you go into the other one. There was no confusion. There was no confusion. Until like roughly the last five to ten years. When the activists out there. Say, you know what? You are not really a girl. You may be a boy or you're not really a boy. You are a girl. So they want to confuse these kids and then the kids get confused. They say, you know what? I'm not actually a boy. I'm a girl or I'm not a girl. I'm actually a boy. I want to use the other restroom. This is a problem. This is a serious, serious problem that is going on. But look here. It says student stage mass walkout after New Hampshire high school bans urinals and shared locker rooms amid row over separating bathrooms based on sets, not gender identity. We have fallen so far, guys. We have really, really j just fallen so far. That if you have to use the restroom based on your Biological sets, that is now a problem.
because people on these school boards, they are woke activists. I'm stunned, guys, that. That these students were actually allowed to use the restroom based on their gender identity. This is just pure insanity to me. Pure insanity. But let's go ahead and read a little bit of this. And we have a video clip here, too. It says students at a New Hampshire high school and middle school staged a walkout after the school board banned urinals and shared locker rooms amid a dispute over separating bathrooms based on sex, not gender identity. But some kind of way they're supposed to be teaching history and mathematics. But they're more concerned about getting girls in men's restrooms and vice versa. The protest started Friday, lasted about 45 minutes with more than 150 students walking out of the Milford High School and middle school in opposition of the new bathroom restrictions. And there is a video clip here, and we're going to go ahead and play this right here. Let's go ahead and roll it so you get a little bit more insight on this. They call this a compromise right here by actually banning urinals and shared spaces to actually compromise. For one thing, guys, there is no compromising when it comes to dealing with activists. This is ridiculous. Now, guys. When being a male. When it comes to public restrooms, I really do not like public restrooms. When it comes to those stalls, I try not to go into them. They're pretty dis disgusting in the men's restroom. Urinals, I'm a little bit more OK with. And let's just face it, guys. Men are the only ones that can use urinals. Biological men are the only ones that can actually use that. But I guess, you know, to not kind of single out a quote unquote trans boy. They decided to uh, just get rid of the urinals and inconvenience actual actual biological boys who should be using these restrooms. Let's roll this, guys. Milford High School students staging a walkout Friday in response to the school board's bathroom restrictions that limit the number of students who can use the facilities to the number of stalls available. Look at that. Look at that right there. They Nobody put asked for this. Nobody. They actually put trash bags over the stalls. Trash bags. Let's go. Probably not going to stop it again. Of stalls available. Nobody asked for this. Nobody but the few parents who complained to the school board asked for this. The board voted on the measure on Monday after a proposal was brought forth that would change the district's bathroom policy, which allows students to use whichever bathroom aligns with their gender identity. The proposal would require students to use the bathroom associated with their biological sex, male or female. While students agreed they do not like the current bathroom restrictions. We're all a high school, and the fact that you see this many people out here right now ready to kind of stand against the school board just kind of signifies that. Some have different opinions about what should be done to address the larger issue. As a female, I don't I don't think that it's safe to have males in our bathroom. This is creating Bingo. just a complex system of inequality within our LGBTQ plus students. Teachers, parents, and administrators tell News 9 they're happy students were able to come together peacefully. I'm proud of our students. I really am. This is what gets the attention needed to make a decision that's best for everybody. And I've reached out to every board member and the ones who've responded say that they hear students' concerns and that this is an issue that will have to be brought up again. The next board meeting is scheduled for February 20th. Live tonight in Milford, Hannah Cotter, W. Wow. Stunning. Stunning, guys. The woke people on this school board. Actually, it seems like the whole entire school board needs to be voted out. This is insane right there. They actually had a policy where they were actually allowing biological boys to go into girls restrooms. I mean, this is just pure insanity. Now, I don't think that the school district that um, 
I'm paying taxes in. I don't think we have a policy like that at all. I actually tried to look it up on their website uh, before I actually shot this video. Nothing's there. But this is New Hampshire and New Hampshire. What are you guys going to do, do about this? I'm talking about the people in the state legislature. Now, the state legislature is actually run by Republicans. A Republican governor as well. But yet this school district actually had a policy in place. That allows men or boys into girls spaces and the compromise was, well, if you're going to actually put it by biological sets, we're going to inconvenience the biological males and we're going to take away their stalls. Also. We're going to not allow. Everybody to congregate in changing spaces. So locker rooms. I don't know how that actually affects sports. Now. If you know sports. A football team, let's say the high school football team, they go into the locker room. Guess what? It's a bunch of guys walking around naked in there and they go in, and they shower together. That happens. That's that's what they do. They do that on the professional level as well. Guys run around naked in front of each other. I guess that's been eliminated over here at this high school right here. This is sickening, guys. And you want to know something that's actually pretty disgusting also as well. Being a guy, if you do not have those urinals and guys only have to go into the stall, it's going to get pretty messy. It's just, this is why I despise uh, public restrooms. They won't lift up the seat. And guess what? They're going to get it all over the seat and they're not going to clean it up. It is disgusting. Have you guys actually been into a, uh, a bathroom in a gas station or something like that? Let's say you have to go really, really bad. They're usually disgusting. They are. This is insane. This is what is wrong with us? What is wrong? The students walked out. I mean, I'm just dumbfounded, guys. We are just going down as a country. We need to get these people off the school boards. I mean, this should be a non-issue, a non-issue, but it's been made an issue by activists. Simple solution. Biological boys use the boys restroom. Biological girls use the girl girls restroom. When I was growing up, you know what? There was no such thing as it non-binary. I didn't know what non-binary was until probably like three years ago, to be honest with you. I had no idea that 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 was even a term. It's just been made up. Now, guys, you got like 75,000 genders out there. And these people are supposed to be educating your kids. But education is definitely not being taught in schools. It is propaganda and nothing more. Sad, 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 guys, sad. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.